In this presentation, we're going to discuss about basic commands in WinDebug. We are starting with k command or command for the call stack. Before getting into the command itself, let's try to understand the concept of call stack. We have seen this concept before in our C programming presentation, so I'm revising it once again. Call stack is the most important information for any kind of debugging call stack or stack backtrace. I cannot overemphasize the importance of this information when it comes to debugging. Call stack is nothing but stack of functions. Function 1 calls, function 2 calls, function 3 calls, function 4. A call stack is there for each thread in the operating system in Windows. It is more or less true for other operating systems as well. Now to see the call stack, the command is k, small letter k. There are many variants of k, kb, kvn, k capital M. I'll be showing you k, kvn and km in the demo. You can explore more variants looking at the documentation. k commands optionally takes three arguments as well, or three parameters or three switches which is three register values ESP, EIP and EBP. By default K command takes the current value of ESP, EIP and EBP. Some of the calling conventions or some of the optimization doesn't use EBP. So in that case EBP doesn't make sense. In this particular presentation I won't be discussing how you can effectively use this particular switches. Hopefully we'll have a future presentation on stack corruption and I'll be explaining this. We need to have correct symbols to show the stack correctly using k command. So if the symbols are not correct stack won't be displayed properly. k command works both in kernel mode and user mode. So this is a command common to kernel as well as user. Now let's see a demo of the k command. Before going into WinTebug, I have a program which I have uh, written in Visual Studio. We have seen similar programs before. So function 1 which takes four parameters a, b, c and d. Function 2 is called from function 1. Function 3 is called from function 2. Function 4 from function 3 and here is the implementation of function 4. Inside function 4 I am printing the value of w and I have a software breakpoint here. This instruction is a breakpoint instruction int 3. I'm gonna break here. Just for convenience I have given the breakpoint. In the main I am calling this function 1. So we're going to look at the call stack at this point, the same binary which I got compiled from Visual Studio, I have opened in WinDebug. And it has executed this particular statement and the execution is right here. So it has printed 899 which is this print statement. Now I'm going to type the command k. So as you can see this is a main, from the main I'm calling function 1, function 2, function 3, function 4. This is how a call stack looks. So as you can see there are a couple of functions before the main. So these functions are part of the system. I won't be getting into the details of that right now. So what you can focus is the stack from here. So this is the call stack. Now KVN. So KVN as you can see gives a little bit more information. You can see the stack frame. This is a stack frame number. And the parameters. In 32 bit debugging, this parameters normally is useful, but it is not useful in the case of 64-bit. So if you look at 
first three parameters you can see here so 100, 200, 300 so 64 is 100, 200 and 300 if you want to confirm you can use question mark this is used for evaluate an expression so 1 to C is 300 so that is what we are seeing here the parameters passed like that DC 6C DC 1D5 so those are these three parameters function 3 has only two parameters so these are the two parameters and function 4 has one parameter so if you convert this you should get 899 which is printed right here I'll show you one more variant KM K capital M so what is the significance is it is DML based for example if I want to see the arguments I can click on that frame number which is highlighted here so I'll get the parameters A equal to 100 B equal to 200 300 basically what it is doing is it is executing additional command it is switching to the frame using dot frame so it is switching to the third frame and executing another command called dv slash t slash v that's how we are able to see the parameters the parameters we see in 32 bit can be correct provided your symbols are right so 90% chance that parameters are right but in 64 bit these parameters which are obtained from k command is incorrect so do not depend on this in 64 bit because 64 bit has a different calling convention and optimization probably I'll be using km and KVN in my future presentation. So we have seen a uh, call stack, we have seen the concept of call stack, we have seen the K command and different variants of K command. Using the KVN command we were able to see the parameters passed and that's it. Thank you very much.